I'd say that if a person has fairly well-defined tastes, they could still find stuff within bluegrass that really suits them. Um, I, and here's another little quote. This is from the first bluegrass festival. Don Reno's on stage and he's reminiscing with Bill Monroe and Benny Martin and other people who are up there talking about their careers in bluegrass. And they, he says, you know, bluegrass will never die. Of course, you wouldn't say that unless you were a little worried that it might. But he said, you know, there's seven different moods in bluegrass. And he never did name them. <laughs> but I thought, oh, that's like seven dwarfs, you know, sleazy, grump, or <laughs> sneezy, grumpy, you know, <laughs> uh, whatever, angry, <laughs> spooky. Um, so there could be a lot more dwarfs of, uh, you know, the, the flavors of bluegrass. But when I talk to banjo players, they say, you know, you don't have to use the same licks for every song. There are some songs that that lick won't work in because it's too happy of a lick. It just sounds bright and snazzy. And this is about somebody who might get murdered or this is about somebody who's, who's on a train leaving their former life because they were done wrong and now they're mad. And you, you have to find some way to convey that even as a banjo player, which a lot of banjo players think, well, I, I memorized all those licks. What am I going to do? I say, well, just think about what the song's about and see what comes out of your hands uh, to make sounds. You know, you will have different, you'll have a different touch. You'll, you'll, you know, you'll play different types of notes. There are some notes that are bluesy notes and you'll gravitate toward those or not. If it's a happy song on a spring day, you're not gonna use those. And uh, that helps people understand that there's depth to the music that's not just about foot tapping and yee-haw and listen to that banjo kind of thing. That, you know, that's part of it, obviously, but there's a lot to it. And I think uh, anybody, whether you're DJ programming a, a, a program or a band presenting to different kinds of audiences, it's good to know the different kinds of moods hmm. that you can create and uh, and create like a little bit of a, um, I don't know, it's like a book of short stories. And if they're good short stories, then people will like it for hmm. sure. <laughs>